Hello, this is my Mavic Mini. Way smaller than the Air or the 2 Pro, but an amazing bit of kit, especially considering the size, weight and price. And that's why I think it's going to be DJI's most popular drone, bringing an army of new flyers into the game. But many people are being caught out by flyaways, where the Mini is being blown away and unable to return to its home point. So today I'm talking about why this happens, how to prevent it and what to do if you find your Mini being blown away. Hello, I'm Ian in London and I play with drones. The Mavic Mini is my most recent purchase and it's no secret that I do love it. This has already become my perfect travel drone and has produced some outstanding video for me in the few months that I've owned it. But one trait I'm reading about more and more are blowaways, where the Mini starts to drift and is unable to return to home. And this is happening to both new and experienced flyers. And indeed, just a week after carrying out my own wind test on the Mavic Mini, I suffered the same issue with the Mini drifting away, unable to return home regardless of what I did. I was eventually able to retrieve it, but many others haven't been so fortunate. So why is this happening? Well, first thing, some quick mechanics. Um, just to explain, drones fly by two sets of props rotating in opposite directions, pulling and pushing the drone into different angles or pitch in order to fly it in different directions and speed. Bigger drones like the Mavic 2 Pro and the Air uh, can pitch themselves very, very steeply into the wind and continue to fly, even when being pushed around by a strong wind. But the Mini is different. Due to its incredibly lightweight, the amount of pitch it can produce is limited, only to around 30 degrees. This reduces its overall maximum speed and crucially reduces the maximum wind speeds that it can handle, way below what the Air and the Pros can handle. So as the Mini's top speed is only around 13 metres per second or 29, uh, 29 miles per hour, its reduced pitch means that once it encounters winds of around 25 to 30 miles an hour, it will start drifting. So you could say, don't fly on a windy day like today, and you're fine. Well, it's not quite that straightforward. Uh, people are still getting into difficulty on the lightest of breezes. On New Year's Eve, that happened to me, so I uploaded the flight data to airdata.com to analyse what went wrong. Despite only the lightest of breezes on the ground, uh, it shows that the Mini was repeatedly unable to generate sufficient wind power to hold its position or fly against the wind, shown here by all the ESC insufficient power errors. And that is the big issue here. From the uploaded data, you can see the actual wind speed that the drone encountered at any point on the flight. Air data can calculate this by knowing the model, the stick inputs, and the resulting positional movement. So as you can see here, the winds at 100 meters or yards high were two to three times that at lower levels, way beyond what the Mini is spec to handle. And this is why people are being caught out. A seemingly a light breeze on the ground becomes a very strong wind when you're up at flight level. So that's all well and good for seeing what happened on a flight in the past, but it would be a lot more helpful if you could actually find out what's going to happen in advance. Well, there are apps that you can use on your phone. UAV Forecast is a great app at helping you on the day with a wealth of information to help you to decide whether or not it's a good idea to fly. But ultimately, it's just a forecasting app and it won't always be accurate on the day at your precise location. So what can you do to avoid blowaways? Well, one. Make sure your battery is fully charged, as here's another crucial point. As the battery levels reduce, the Mini may struggle to produce the same level of thrust. So put simply, blowaways with the Mini are far more, far more likely when the battery gets down to around 40 to 20%. Don't push the battery. Two, check UAV forecasts and be aware of your situation when you're about to fly. Is there a strong breeze on the ground that could be a strong wind up above? Which way is the wind blowing? And if the Mini starts to blow away, is it going to be carried out over water or over a town? Three, fly out into the wind so you're flying back with the wind. This is such a basic rule and yet it is so important and makes life so much safer for you. Four, don't go too high at first. If you see it being pushed around, stay low and land because it's only going to be worse up high. And five, don't assume that you can rely on the automatic return to home. It can't magic up any additional power and it can actually make the situation worse because if you're in sports mode, it will flip it back down into P mode, which has got a lower max speed. So those points are all going to help prevent a flyaway or blowaway from happening in the first place, but things can still go wrong in flight. What do you do if you're caught in one? If your Mini is drifting away, refusing to head home, you need to act fast. First off, 
flip it into sports mode by tapping the top left corner. Sports mode has got a higher maximum speed and that may be all you need to get back. But secondly, if you are up high, reduce altitude. The wind will almost certainly be less strong at lower altitude, but you also get a really useful trick. Slowly descending whilst flying back will help the Mini overcome strong wind, as you can see in this clip. Each time I fly forwards whilst slowly descending, the forward speed increases. And of course, that's well and good whilst you can actually descend. But once you're near ground level, you're kind of stuck as you can't go any lower. And as you can see here, climbing whilst flying really slows you down, having the opposite effect. Finally, if it is still refusing to come back, no matter what you do, you need to stay calm and try a controlled landing. It is no good continually fighting if it's simply not coming back. As sooner or later, you're either going to run out of battery or lose signal, and both of those situations are terrible. Very low battery will initiate a forced auto land that you cannot cancel, which means it may land in a stream, a road, or someone's back garden. And if it's blowing away with plenty of battery, you'll eventually lose signal, and then you'll lose any ability to track it down at all. So if you know it's going wrong, land it. Push your camera straight down, use your screen, look for an appropriate place to land away from people and animals. If you land in a controlled manner, it's unlikely to suffer any damage. And you can then use the Find My Drone function to be taken straight to the point that it landed. The Find My Drone function is in the app and it shows the last known GPS location of the drone. You can change the map layer to show satellite of the area that you're uh, walking around and be led right up to the point that it landed. But this function only works if you haven't lost signal and that's why it's so important to do a controlled landing rather than keep fighting it until you lose signal. So there you go, that's why flyaways happen, that's how you can avoid them and that's what you do when it's all going wrong. The Mini really is an incredible bit of kit and it will really serve you well but it is not the same as the bigger models like the Air and the 2 Pro. And this is why experienced flyers who are well used to ignoring the wind warnings of the Air and the Pro and the 2 Pro cannot ignore those warnings on the Mini. If it starts creeping, get it down fast and it will live to fly another day. As ever, look, if you found this useful, thumbs me up and if you want to get notified when my next video comes out, tick the bell, ding the dong. I've got more Mavic Mini tutorials coming up. I've also got the uh, Freewell filter set to play with. So all of those will be coming out soon. Either way, until next time, have fun, happy flying. <laughs>